In the last couple of weeks, the NBA has exploded with numerous amount of players with incredible scoring performances. We got Luka with 60, dropping 60 points triple-double. We got Donovan Mitchell, 71, almost had a triple-double with 71 points. We got Giannis dropping 55. We got 73-year-old LeBron James dropping 40 points back-to-back -back games. And this makes me realize... Has the NBA gotten out of control with the scoring? What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We'll be back again with another video. And it, it's it's coming to a realization that I don't believe nowadays that you can win championships, that defense wins championships. In my opinion, does defense really win championships now, nowadays? Look back on the last champion, the Golden State Warriors. Now, they had a really good defense. But not as great as the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics led the lead in in defensive scoring. They also led the lead in defensive field goal percentage, defensive three point percentage, and steals. And they still lost the championship to Steph Curry. Lost to a superstar, of course, probably the face of the NBA. But now, this makes me think now, as we look at all these performances the last couple weeks, not just Luka dropping 60 triple double, he had 21 rebounds with it in tennis. Not just O'Donovan Mitchell, as you see the performance he had in the overtime, the performance he displayed in overtime. Not because Giannis dropping 55. And then 40 and then 30 triple double. And last night, we have performances like this from KD, where we should suspect it. But now let's get to the teams allowing this much points. The Boston Celtics should have the best defense in the league, right? They gave up 150 points to the OKC. Thunder, who doesn't even have Shea Gilgis Alexander in this game? A team that is a young, talented team that's coming up and uprising. But obviously, they're not ready yet. Chet is still injured. He's going to be out for the season. they trying to win a couple. They, they have a decent record for what kind of team they have. Because I honestly do not know who else is on the team other than Shea Gilgis Alexander. Boston, I don't understand how y'all gave up 150 points. Who else has dropped 150 points this year as a team? Let's go back in, pre in previous history. Back between 2000s and 2010. When is the last time a team has dropped 150 points? We can look it up. There's not many. But this season... And the start of this new year, we got the Boston Celtics allowing this much points. Now, let's go back to last night as the Bucks go against the Toronto Raptors. And Bucks had a a good a good lead, looked like they are going to win the game with about two minutes left in the game. Up by as many points as 22 points. I believe the score was 91 to 69. The Toronto Raptors, with two minutes to play, came back and tied the game. At 97, and it went to overtime. When is the last time a team has came back down 20 points with two minutes left in the game? This is what we're talking about. The NBA is getting out of control with the scoring. It's not. I don't see much defense. But I also, nowadays, I see a lot more skilled players. A lot more players that just know how to put the ball in the bucket. And the, and the game has it, it just changed. It just changed. And it, it evolved. Not just changed, it evolved. There's a lot more skilled players. There's a lot more players that are just more dominant. There's a lot of great defensive players out there. But it's just hard to stop, stop the skill that we have in the game now back than we did in the previous history. Previous history, 
we had a lot more bigs that know how to put the ball in the bucket, and it was unguardable. We had Shaq, we had Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett. We got dope, them big boys just playing physical. And the scoring came for Kobe, pure score, but he know how to drop up a lot of shots because there was a lot of defensive players on him. The underrated defensive players like Rajah Bell, Ron Artest, Tony Allen. He just knew how to get his, his buckets off. Nowadays, you can put Kobe, God rest his soul, in this era, put MJ in this era, MJ would average 50 points per game. Please prove me wrong. MJ would average 50 points per game. Because there's no way that we got back-to-back-to-back performances like this in this time. I never seen at my whole life watching the NBA, never seen this much scoring going on now. Now we now we have it nowadays. 71 points. Not only Donovan Mitchell dropped 71, he almost had a triple double with it. 60 points from Luka Doncic. Not only he had 60 points, but he had 21 rebounds and 10 assists with it. Giannis, 55. Dominant. KD, we know what he's going to do. Well, then we got Kyrie doing, he actually dunking the ball off a lob. Nobody bossing. It's just, it's just it's crazy this going on. And then we got high-powered scoring as a whole team. We can go back when the Memphis Grizzlies blew, not blew the OKC out the building in the whole arena. They blew about the whole city. Bye. Beating them by 75 points. Name another time in history that that's ever happened. It's hard, it's hard to go back in history that when this, that ever happened. We got teams averaging almost 120 plus points per game now, y'all. Back then, it was hard to get 100 points per game between 2000s and 2010. We don't even want to count 1990s because we know it's hard to get 70, 80 points break back from again. It's just, y'all, it's a different time we're living in. And I'm just, I'm going to ask this question for y'all. Nowadays, can defense still win championships? Because we've proven that offense wins more games. Can they win championships? The Golden State Warriors had really good defense, but not as great as the Boston Celtics. It's just a lot of scoring out there. We also had Devin Booker dropping 51 at three quarters. It's just a lot going on, man. The game is, I'm just letting y'all know the game has evolved. And the scoring has gotten out of control. Every night, somebody's dropping 50 plus. Klay Thompson dropped 54 the other night on Atlanta Hawks. And we got we got dumb plays like this, like Jamal, like DeJounte Murray, who tipped the ball right to Jim Vigiso for a, a a three, they can send them to overtime. So, y'all, it's just a lot of bonehead plays on defense. And there's more skilledness on offense. And that's all I got. To, I, I just want to just let y'all know this. this the NBA has really evolved scoring-wise. It's a lot. I would say it's a lot more excited, but I do miss defense. And I have not seen much defense this year. That's all I got today for this video, man. If y'all if y'all like these videos, y'all enjoy the content, Give your boy a like, like, subscribe, like, subscribe if you're new. And it's been your boy Will, and, I, and I'm out.